Hi there, thanks for joining. The benefits of working on a toned ground, they're endlessly, they're are only benefits if you ask me of course when we go to the shop and buy canvas uh, most of the time it is pre-primed with white gesso we, we think okay white uh, let's go start painting but when you work on a white canvas only thing you can do is go darker for instance i can't paint white on a white yeah i can paint white white on a white canvas but it doesn't do anything when i work on a toned canvas i can paint with white you see but I also can paint with black and of course on a white canvas I can work with black, that's no problem. Sometimes when I sketch and I see dark parts in a photograph, I paint in the dark parts, but maybe there are some parts that are very bright, very light, I can paint that in my sketch as well with white or light paint. So it builds up the sketch faster. And another thing is that it is way more easy to judge values each color has a value from dark to light uh, that's easier on a gray or toned canvas than on a white canvas because as i've shown in the previous video this color is exactly the same color but on the white canvas it looks very dark and that's not the case on the gray canvas it looks less dark so you, get, you can get confused by working on a white canvas. Let's say I have a light color like this on my white canvas. It looks very dark. On my gray canvas, it looks the way it's supposed to look. It looks light. Same goes, by the way, for your palette. Here I'm working on a tear-off palette, single-use palette, how you call it. And here is my gray palette. This thing I use only for simple uh, things, simple exercises when I have to do something very quickly. But normally I use a gray palette because on a gray palette, it's the same story of course, this color looks uh, dark on white, but on my palette here it looks light. There's another big advantage because when you work on a toned canvas like this, it, it is happening already here. This looks like a finished painting. It's reasonably abstract, <laughs> you can tell. But this one looks unfinished. Whenever you see white parts coming through in a painting, you get the feeling that it isn't finished. For instance, this portrait I painted on a gray canvas. And when I miss some spots where I don't cover with paint, the gray canvas will shine through and not a white canvas. And that gives the painting a sense of completeness so it makes it more of a unity your whole painting and by the way i almost forgot but that's another benefit as well you uh, to tone your canvas you can use gesso and you give the gesso a color in this video you can see how you can apply gesso on your canvas an extra layer of gesso is always an advantage because when you buy a pre-primed canvas the quality of the gesso isn't that great most of the times and sometimes you have grease, uh, spots of grease on it and, and that sort of things. So it is always beneficial to put on an extra layer of gesso. And when, when you do that, you, can, you might as well give it a color straight away. I must say, by the way, in advance, when I started using it, at first, it got me uh, confused a lot of the time. So you have to get used to it. So my advice is just try it out but give it some time make a lot of paintings for a while on a toned canvas or on toned paper and after a while uh, you will experience that you you don't want to go back to white canvases ever again everything is too bright you get blinded by the white it's uh, there's nothing against white but <laughs> not to paint on so that was a side note My, you, um, uh, but you can a uh, little bit uh, on the dutch tour there but you can uh, also give the gesso another color of course um, uh, my preference is this kind of gray most of the time uh, not too dark not too light sort of middle gray you can also when when painting landscapes for instance it can be beautiful to make a warmer toned ground so that it uh, shines uh, through a little bit when you paint over it and it gives the colors more vibrancy. And another thing is, of course, when you have a painting with lots of blue in it, for instance, yes, of course, you can make your canvas uh, blue. That's no problem. A couple of years ago, I made this painting and I deliberately chose
a blue background for two reasons. Because there was a lot of blue in it. The car is blue and the sky is blue, uh, contains blue. But also I wanted to make this evening look with orangey colors, orange red, that, that kind of things. And uh, you know that when you look at the color wheel, then that kind of blue that I put on the canvas is heavily contrasting with the orange and reds. So I, I was curious to see how that would work out and I think it worked out fine. It was, it was nice working that way. But one side note, when you work on a vivid colored ground, then judging colors becomes very difficult. Then you must cover the whole canvas before you can decide if, it is, uh, uh, if you've done good or bad. You cannot judge it that well. I have another example here. I see it standing here right in front of me. Uh, with this painting of an airplane, I've used another color, uh, colored ground, you see? I think it's burnt sienna mixed with the gesso. Because I wanted to give this a little bit of a dramatic look. And at places where I've not been, where I've not covered the canvas, I hope you can see, you see the canvas shining through, the toned ground shining through. But it doesn't give the impression that it is an unfinished painting. And that's a major difference uh, compared to when you paint on a white canvas. Now I hope you enjoyed the video and that you want to give it a try. It's fun and I'll see you next time.